public transport in the city of Curitiba is considered a reference, an innovative model, one of the pioneers in modernizing and restructuring the urban transport system in Brazil. Created in the 70s and adopted until the present days, it has an integrated public transport network, RIT, which maintains a connection between 13 municipalities and allows the user to use more than one bus line with the payment of only a tariff. Managed by URBS, it presents a truck feeder system, which consists of the implementation of terminals and transshipment tubes and connection at the strategic points in the different neighborhoods of the capital of Paraná and around its metropolitan region. According to the statistics published by the municipality of Curitiba, in 2019, 1,365,615 passengers were transported per business day with about 1,299 buses in the operation fleet, mainly through where IT is be articulated, a transit bus scheme fast, which has exclusive road for express nose has channel. So travel with us and see how we can further transcend public transportation in our city. Even received great prominence, Curitiba's public transportation also presents negative points. In the foreground, it is worth mentioning that the excess of passengers in a single vehicle and waiting for the arrival of bus are the first reason of stress of the users. In times of pandemic, the bus circulation with maximum capacity is a real danger and lack of responsibility with the protocols of social distance. According to a survey published by Gazeta do Povo, the maximum number of passengers per vehicle has now risen to 70% of capacity, up to 50% at the time of boarding at terminals. In addition, the poor conditions of the vehicles, the fare, which is considered high by most passengers, and the poor quality of the service provided are other points that must be observed by urbs. However, it is important to notice that public transport does not only warm passengers, but also urban mobility, and existing points for such transport such as stations and terminals. Furthermore, as a way to improve our planet for future generations, we must begin to rethink the use of electric bus such as trolley bus, as this would reduce the rate of pollution and the constant maintenance that conventional bi-articulated products need riding ourselves off this terrible footprint. Having as a highlight sustainability, our project aims to create ways to establish in Curitiba public transport by trolleybus. According to the Brazilian Association of Electric Vehicles, this type of bus arose at the end of the 19th century in Europe. In May 1882, Werner von Siemens, who worked at Siemens and Halski Company, tested in the city of Hallensee, Germany, a kind of carriage equipped with electric motors called contact wagon. Since the electric motor was powered by contact with suspended cables on the path it would take. Thus, with the evolution of technology, the trolleybus proposal was to be an improved alternative to these trams. And that's what happened, since currently they are already being manufactured and used in several countries, including in Brazil, in the city of Sao Paulo. The trolleybus is an example of modernization on transportation. This bus includes electric motors with a high rate of energy efficiency, reliability, and durability. It's electronically managed, which ensures perfect sync in the system. The vehicle has zero emission of pollution gases. Its energy is produced through a set of 14 batteries that need only 3 hours to fully charge, guaranteeing 200 kilometers of operational autonomy. It also holds a fast recharging system, which can be done in 5 minutes providing more than 11 kilometers of autonomy. Its speed can be the same as a regular bus. However, in curved and difficult to overtake regions, its speed can be lower due to its area dependence. On the other hand, the trolley bus enables twice the acceleration of the regular bus. As the trolley bus has little or no carbon monoxide emission, it would be a good start for atmospheric air renew. However, the initial costs of deploying these 100% electric buses are higher than conventional diesel buses worldwide, even though the operating costs of electric-powered vehicles are lower than traditional ones. According to a study published by the National Public Transportation Agency ANTP, among the main barriers preventing the popularization of trolley buses in public transportation in Brazil are high emission investment, 
Operators risk aversion to a new technology, difficulty of resilient the vehicles to smaller cities, and the lack of flexibility in operational experience. In addition, electric buses would be very successful in Curitiba due to low carbon emissions. As an example, we bring BYD D9W from Sao Paulo, which in one year reduced the emission of more than 1.8 tons of carbon dioxide. However, this transition from combustion bus to electric should be gradual by the high cost. This vehicle model, which is used by the city of Sao Paulo, costs up to 1.4 million to produce between two and four times more than ordinary diesel buses. The value of acquiring a fleet of about 50 buses would be close to 76 million, which is close to the monthly maintenance cost of 750 buses circulating in Curitiba, which is 78 million. The lithium iron battery has an autonomy of 250 kilometers, allowing it to run all day while the estimated recharging time is between 4 and 5 hours, which makes it possible to recharge it at night. Its importance lies in the extremely low carbon emission, which ends up bringing enormous benefits to the environment and also to people's health. In addition, according to data from the Diário do Transporte website, the use of electric transport is important since there are economic benefits in the long term, reaching $39,000 a year. Given the above, the Curitiba City Hall must invest in this means of transportation since trolley buses are a reference in the state of Sao Paulo and have several positive aspects. The recharging of buses in Curitiba can still be done from the installation of poles in the gutters to ensure the uninterrupted operation, or through the establishment of energy cables under the asphalt. In this way, the installation could be done initially only on these routes, which are already used exclusively by Curitiba's buses, and later installed on other routes in the city. In addition, it is also possible to use the tube stations and terminals as sources of quick recharges, thus facilitating the autonomy of the vehicles. In addition, the trolley buses allow a larger number of passengers per vehicle, thus reducing the fleet and consequently the environmental pollution. The main point of sustainability that we are looking for in our project for Bagosi Day. This is the only way we can end the challenges and problems facing urban mobility and ecology in the city of Curitiba. So, what footprint do you want to leave in the world? Think about it.